dear students few years back upsc has brought a very bad news for the aspirants of engineering service exam you all know railways was separated from engineering services exam and there were rumors that a separate entity in the name of irms will be created and all engineering posts related to railways will be shifted to irms you all know there were several protests let us to pmo so after so many appeals and discussions in the government of india finally this year very recently again you had a very good news all engineering positions are brought back to engineering service exam conducted by upsc definitely it is a very happy news when the government of india and the upsc has taken a decision previously to separate almost more than 70% of the engineering services aspirants got discouraged and majority of them stopped preparing or even attempting for engineering service exam now there is a good news as you all know the engineering service exam is regaining will definitely regain its past glory now let us see what are the changes etc briefly so please have patience to listen till the last second right about engineering service exam 2025 of upsc all of you know the four departments civil mechanical electrical and electronics and telecommunication engineering the railways are now included in engineering services so definitely the date of application should be extended the date of exams also will be revised reason i already told you without railways several engineering students dropped from engineering services for the past few years now once the railways is included so them some students requested the upsc to revise the dates so upsc has accepted their appeal now you see now prelims will be conducted on 8th june 2025 next year mains 10th august 2025 means hardly two months between prelims and mains so what it indicates it is better to prepare for prelims and mains parallelly because only two months time may be insufficient for a preparation of main exam this is my suggestion my opinion my dear children of course interviews will be conducted after the mains results are announced now no state government what i believe subject to correction is allowing final year students to apply for any competitive exam but upsc for the past right from its inception it is allowing final years also to apply for the respective post it means the students who are now pursuing their final year engineering are eligible to apply i suggest them to apply for this post sir one attempt may be waste sir without my preparation beta there is no limit on number of attempts in engineering services exam for any category whether oc bc sc st ph or any one right now what are the various vacancies brought in now by railways now you see civil 75 mechanical 40 naturally civil will have a lion share electrical 50 signals and telecommunication 40 railway stores 20 all together 225 these are the vacancies exclusively for railways now being merged with the other services now you see 
So, in the past notification there were only 232 without IRMS posts. Now, how many are added? Beta 225. So, all together now it is 457. It is good number I say. For example, civil got 75 plus etcetera. It is an encouraging number. So, take this opportunity, grab this opportunity and start afresh if you have not applied for the previous notification. Now, you see important dates to apply for ESE exam. I told you na, additional posts are included. Naturally, the notification revised dates are here. So, in the past, the last date was 8, 10, 20, 24. Now, it is revised. How it is revised, sir? Now, up to 20 to 11 next month. November 22nd, up to November 22nd, you can apply. If you want to make some correction, you can make corrections up to 29. Sir, I have already applied, sir. No problem, beta. You can make corrections. You can edit your application. Okay? No problem. So, use this. The last date is 22 11, 2024, up to 6 p.m. beta. Okay, try. Right. Now, Various services including railways. So, I have given a list, I cannot read, you can take screenshot or we will keep it in the description. Okay, right. Now, one point I forgot. So, when is the prelims exam? In the June. So, you have so much time beta to start preparation even after the gate exam also. See, after gate exam is in February. See, gate means almost 65 to 70 percent of the engineering services exam, technical syllabus. So, those who are preparing only for gate, do not worry, complete the gate exam perfectly, but do not forget to apply now, write the exam gate exam perfectly, then you have enough time, more than 4 months time for prelims exam more than 6 months time for mains exam. So, it is a good news for those who are just interested in gate, but now with the addition of railways, you can extend your preparation for, for another 4 to 6 months. Right. Okay. Right. Eligibility criteria for engineering services. A routine. A candidate must be a citizen of India. Right. Now, 21 to 30 years, as on 1st January of the year of exam, year of exam beta, when will be the exam? In 25, means 25, 2025 January 1st, by that you should have completed 21 years, minimum 21 years, not more than 30 years. Of course, age relaxation is for certain categories like SC, ST, etc. Of course, those who are some experience in railways, they get some additional ease concession. Right. Now, education qualification C. A degree in engineering from a recognized university or equivalent. Equivalent means AMIE like that. AMIE, AMITE. MSc degree or it is equivalent. This is particularly for electrons and telecommunication. Son, you are saying a degree in engineering from a recognized university. Sir, I am from computer science background, sir. Can I appear for engineering services? Why not? See, I know there are certain students of A's computer science wrote engineering services with electronics and telecommunication and got successful. You do not believe. It is possible. Instrumentation students, yes. Production students have written with mechanical. So, this cross discipline is allowed. So, here a degree that is a degree that is a. Okay? So, any degree holder in engineering can apply of course, MSc particularly in physics etcetera. Right. This is about uh, the eligibility criteria. Now, scheme of examination all of you know have patience prelims in prelims, you have first paper one, general studies and engineering aptitude. Sir, what is it? 
wait for few seconds beta. 200 marks, 2 hours, but 100 questions, 100 questions, 200 marks, 1 question, 2 marks, 2 hours in 120 minutes, in 120 minutes, 100 questions, but do not worry about 100 questions. Why I will tell you, I will tell you, you need not uh, try for all the 100 questions, waste of time. Paper 2, stream specific, civil means civil, mechanical means mechanical like that, 300 marks, 3 hours. Here how many questions, 150 questions, each question 2 marks, so 3 hours, see, so 180 minutes, 150 questions. Okay, all together stage 1, stage 1 means prelims, general studies plus technical paper, both are objective type, together 500 marks, this is up with respect to prelims. After prelims mains will be there, sir how many will be selected for prelims, so, 2 mains, generally 1 is to 8 to 2, 1 is to 2, it varies some, it varies ratio, okay. assume, better assume 1 is to 8, if more than that, you are the lucky fellow. So, suppose 100 vacancies are there. So, 1 is to 8, let us assume, I am not 100 percent correct. So, 1 is to 8, 800 students will be allowed for mains exam like that, it is one example. Now, stage 2, conventional paper, subjective paper, essay type, there will be paper 1, 300 marks, 3 hours, paper 2, 300 marks, 3 hours. Now, mains 600 marks, this is stream specific, if you are opting with civil engineering, civil paper 1, civil paper 2, electrical, electrical paper 1, electrical paper 2. Sir, what are the subjects in paper 1, paper 2, that will be done in a separate video. Now, for the time being, mains 600 marks. Now, stage 1, beta prelims, stage 2, mains 600 marks, both together 1100 marks. Now, again screening starts. What is the ratio, sir, to interview, from mains to interview? Generally, 1 is to 2 beta, but there will be some uh, tie between two different students on the same mark, etcetera. So, generally, 1 is to 2, but sometimes it may be up to 1 is to 2.5. So, it depends on the tie, okay, right. Now, prelims and mains over. Now, you see stage 3. What is this stage 3, sir? Personality test, interview, 200 marks. Now, grand total, stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, preliminary, mains and personal interview, 1300 marks. So, after this, your selection will be there and you will become a gazetted officer to eligible to use green color pen. Okay? Right. Now, <coughs> general studies and engineering aptitude, which is common for all the streams, only I will discuss briefly. Technical stream wise, I will not discuss, they will be done in separate videos. Right. Only last uh, 6 years weightage analysis I have done. There are 10 papers beta, 10 papers. Total how many questions I told you? 100 questions, 200 marks, but see the weightage. For example, if you see the current issues and background concepts of social, economic and industrial, it is varying 11, 12, 17, 18, 15, 15, on an average let us assume 15. With respect to current affairs and socio-economic, one thing is very true. Some questions will be in depth on economy, economics, microeconomics. I tell you, some of the questions nobody can prepare, no, nobody can answer with any preparation. Maybe the, he may be a specialist in uh, MA economics. So, sir, what do you mean? You want to say that leave this? No, do not leave. So, regular newspaper reading, particularly Hindu paper and the material of yes is sufficient. I think nobody can answer all the questions of current issues, nobody. Out of 15, 
50 percent 7 to 8 if you can answer hats off right now engineering aptitude it is there in gate exam also you might also might also have been prepared for placements in your campus third is engineering mathematics now you see their weightage also for the last two years 15 15 you see aptitude 15 mass 15 15 plus 15 30 30 questions out of 100 i tell you if you can get 80 marks to 100 marks if you can answer perfectly 40 to 50 questions out of 100 that is more than sufficient. Students getting more than 100 marks in general studies engineering aptitude, I do not say there are no such students, but those students are very few. So, if you can answer 50 questions, okay, let us assume you target for 60, you may answer 50. 50 questions out of 100, it is more than sufficient. So, with respect to current issues, etc., do not try to have so many reference books as if you are preparing for civil services economic subject. No, not required. This is engineering services. No? So, have a strategic preparation. Aptitude and maths beta do not compromise. Do not compromise. That is only scoring one. Then, we have some more subjects like uh, principles of design, drawing, importance of safety, standards, basics of energy and environment, project management, basics of material science, ICT, ethics, etc. You know, say civil engineering student. For a civil engineering student, design, drawing, safety, project management, environment related subjects are easy. For mechanical, project management, standard material science. For electrical and electronics, material science, ethics, information technology, etc. My intention is, do not try to become a master in all the 10 topics, because after prelims, these subjects, no, only for electrical engineering students, mathematics will be continued in the means exam. So, if you try to become a master, beta is a waste of time. Focus more on a technical, which is useful for means and at the same time target 50 to 60 questions perfect, so that you will get 100 marks in and around. Okay? Thank you, all the best.